everyone, it's Janice Baylor. I'd like to welcome you back to the studio today for another fun drop-in art session. Again, I'd like to thank Perry County Council of the Arts and their participating sponsors for continuing to bring us drop-in art classes online. Today, we are going to make a fun kitchen-themed no-sew apron. Mine is made from a spring dish towel, but you can use whatever you like. I'll show you how to make this cute project coming right up. For today's project, you will need a cute uh, little dish towel. I found this spring themed one at Joann Fabrics. Uh, you can also sometimes find them at a dollar store or other similar craft store. That's really fun. It already has some cute details. Or you can just use a regular standard dish towel. You will need some gross grain ribbon, which is a nice flat woven ribbon like this. Mine's in white to match my towel. You'll need a pair of scissors, pretty sharp scissors, fabric scissors, and a glue gun and a mat. Ask your adult helper to help you with this one and um, because we need to iron the dish towel a little bit to get it flat and to create our creases and then also we will be using the hot glue gun. So to get started, we're going to fold our dish towel in half and create sort of like an angled crease. So you can do that with your fingers or you can go press that on the iron if you have your adult helper. And then I am going to cut that angle of my dish towel with my scissors right along that crease that I made, cutting a little wedge out to form the shape of my apron. Okay, so we're removing that. And then you can open back your apron up, your towel back up, and you see that we have an angled top now to our apron. So we're gonna take our little edges here and fold them over and use our fingers to finger press that into place. And we're gonna roll it one more time so that we're enclosing the raw edge that we cut. So we're making a fold, a nice rounded edge. So use your fingers and finger press that. And then you can use either um, a really heavy fabric glue or I just have a hot glue gun today. So I'm going to run a bead of glue going to run a bead of glue along that edge and fold it over to keep it from fraying and to make a nice clean rolled edge. So do that on this side and then I am going to put a little extra here at the bottom. going to do the other side the same way. So fold it, use your fingers to press or you can have your adult helper press it with an iron. And then fold it over again to create a nice rolled edge. And then glue it in place, either with your hot glue or fabric glue if you have that. Or there's something called stitch witchery that you can iron on. So it's up to you, however you want to do that. Or use what you have. And then I have a couple of different lengths of gross grain ribbon. So I have two that are longer that can be the straps on my side. And I have one that is shorter that can be the neck hole. So you need to kind of put a loop over the back of your neck and see how long you need it to be. And then I'm going to take the ribbon and I'm gonna fold it over again using a little dot of glue to finish the edge so that it's not frayed there. And then I am going to place my ribbon. I'm gonna 
fold it, make sure it's not twisted, and then I'm going to place my ribbon up here at the top of my apron where we made the wedge shape. So put a dot of glue there and then glue your strap down and then repeat it on the other side. I'm going to press and hold it in place and then we are going to do the same thing for the straps across the center where you can tie. So right here where you made your larger fold is where we are going to put the ribbon. So down at the bottom. So take your gross carrying your longer strip of ribbon. Again, we're going to fold over the edge so that it is not frayed. You can do that on both ends. And then take your ribbon and glue it into place facing outward because you're going to tie it around your back. So go ahead and put a big dab of glue down there at the base of your fold put your ribbon into it. And then we're gonna go and do the same thing on the other side. And it's that simple. Now you have a super cute little apron to wear when you help make Easter dinner or do some other fun cooking and expressing yourself in the kitchen. Thanks for joining me. Stay creative, friends.